How to Be a Real Man by Shoe on Head. Men, what are they? For yes. centuries, us women have tried to figure them out. Such strange, fascinating creatures. But recently, men have been in a crisis. Sperm count is low. Nice. Liberalism is high. Testosterone is decreasing. Soy is increasing. The femboy population Ooh. is skyrocketing. Instead of chopping wood and hunting mammoths, men are throwing on thigh-high socks and cat ears. The question on everyone's mind is, how do we stop this epidemic? How do we save men? Her videos definitely have a lot of evolutionary psychology with the whole repeated mammoths bit. It's, it's very interesting. Well, today we're finally going to get answers because I looked for them in the most knowledgeable, reliable, and trustworthy don't, place on earth. Don't say Twitter. The internet. The internet is a great place to find cringe for you guys. Yes. But it is also a dangerous and scary place. So before we dive into this cringe, let's dive into today's sponsor, a tool that will help protect you from said scary and dangerous place. Atlas VPN is the digital tool that helps keep your information secure and that private while you use the internet. When you use Atlas VPN, it will hide your personal and private information from everyone and everything looking to steal it, including the government. And it currently has over 6 million users worldwide. Atlas features some great user-friendly tools like their data breach monitor that you can use to see if any of your email addresses or passwords have been part of any leaks. And it's more than just a VPN, it also blocks malicious links and malware. It comes with a great tracker blocker feature, which will stop unwanted trackers with just a flip of a switch. Atlas also lets you change your location, which really comes in handy when you want to watch something on Netflix or other streaming services that are only available in different countries. All you have to do is change your location, and you'll have access to their entire catalog of movies and shows. You can also use Atlas VPN on all devices, mobile and desktop. Now you might be asking, if I have nothing to hide, I have nothing to fear, right? Wrong. You might not care about hiding your information, but malware, hackers, and advertising companies love your information. So if you're gonna dive into the treacherous depths of the internet, why not protect yourself? Have a private Christmas and a safe new year with Atlas VPN Premium. Go to get.atlasvpn.com slash shoeonhead to get Atlas VPN for just $1.70 a month, plus six months for free with a 30 day money back guarantee. That's get.atlasvpn.com slash shoeonhead. Link in the description. And thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. So I liked it. Seven out of 10, eight out of 10 area. I liked it. The audio swap was jarring. I liked the transitions. I thought the transitions in the ad were great. The audio not being uniform with the rest of the video, despite it being seemingly the same, uh, same setup. That was jarring to me a little bit. Overall, still very good ad reading. I liked it. Thank you for not skipping the ad. <laughs> you know it. You didn't skip the ad, right? No, what I didn't. What is a man? A man is somebody who kills... <laughs> what is a man but a miserable pile of secrets? I had to, chat. I had to. I'm going to have that one comment. It's going to be like, if why, please. <laughs> kills the bugs, opens the jars, and dies in the wars. Nice. That is a man. Some people will say the correct way to be a man is to be protective and strong and blah, 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 blah. Others, however, will say being a man is about drinking your coffee black and not playing video games. Grown men should not be playing video games past the age of 12. Video games are for children. You know, actually on this subject, I've had one of my mods say that I'm literally just a child in an adult's body because I don't have any vices. And I don't know how to take that. And I'm like, what do you mean by this? And he's like, Kip, you don't smoke. You don't drink. You don't do NSFW things. You don't go out. You don't do things. Like, you. you <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I haven't been the same since. <laughs> Men who say they want a gamer girlfriend are gay. Nice. If you want a girlfriend who plays video games, just date a man. Fellas, is it gay to want a girlfriend who shares interests with you? Men Apparently. will spend six hours a day playing Call of Duty instead of signing up to join the real army and serve their country. Oh boy, the eye roll is right. Oh boy, those aren't even remotely the same. These are the kind of people that would flag someone with an AR at a range is all I'm going to say. Like they would just be like, and they, oh, I look down the barrel, right? God, idiots, all of them. I hate them.
can't stand idiots and guns. Ugh. Anyways, but uh, <laughs> my my personal rant on that aside, playing Call of Duty, playing Battlefield, isn't the same as the military. That's not how that works. I don't know. Like, it's like for playing for honor and then actually fighting an SCA, HEMA, ACL, etc. You have to think about your footwork. You have to think about your breathing. You have to think about your uh, encumbrance on if you're wearing armor or not. You have to think about heat, uh, the heat, right? Because armor gets hot, especially in the summer. You have to think about where you're stepping. Not just footwork. Am I stepping in a hole, right? Things you don't have to think about in For Honor. Likewise, you're not pairing uh, someone in chat. What is the uh, current military standard issue uh, rucksack? What What is it? 80 pounds? Something like that. So if you have to consider that in the military, you're expected to carry 80, 90-ish pounds of weight. You're expected to carry your weapon. You're expected to clean your weapon and service your weapon. You're expected to make sure your optics are in good condition. You have to make sure a um, number of different things that I'm not even mentioning, right? Breathing, footwork, fitness, hunger, thirst, fatigue. These are not even remotely the same things. It's a false equivalence, and a lot of people like doing this. I would serve myself rat poison before I served this country. If you're a man <laughs> dating a woman who plays video games, you probably get pegged by her too. Yo, some people are into that though. Some, pe some people are into that. Some people pay good money for that. <laughs> I'm sure some of them like that. Grown ass men that play video games, ask yourself this. When's the last time you've been laid? It is so cool how like technology has just improved so much. Yeah. Like it is really cool how we can see tweets made in 1998. Men <laughs> yeah. who collect things creep me out. What do you need 300 Pokemon cards for? Okay, so first of all, three- God, I wish I only had 300 cards. Oh God, I don't even want to talk about my Naruto CCG and L5R stuff that I still have under my bed. Way too much of it. Oh, I only wish it was 300. Oh, that is a very unique headache to me. Pokemon cards is not that many Pokemon cards. I think I have more than 300 Pokemon cards. Yeah. And I organize them from cutest to ugliest. Say, so, well, how many shoes do you think? I need a tier list on this, Shoe on Head. I don't know if you're watching this. I need a tier list on this. That'd be very cool to see. This woman owns. <laughs> What's with the sudden trend of grown men playing with children's toys? Do these men also make space shippy sounds when playing with them? Maybe. Hashtag man child. And you can't see it because it's censored, but they added Lauren Chen here. Like, Who? is this attractive? <laughs> mommy, is this attractive? Mommy, sorry, mommy. Also- Who is Lauren Chen? I have no context on who this person is. Building models? I feel like that's a very normal male hobby to have. No hobby is masculine or feminine, but if we are doing this shit, I think building things is pretty masculine. Yeah. Like, is society in general not just men building things? <laughs> then some I mean, if we have, if we absolutely have to assign a gender role to a hobby, like, like we have to assign a value in like the creation kit to something, right? Like what, uh, what faction it belongs to? I guess, yeah, building things like building a boat, building a uh, firearm platform, building a plane, I mean, yeah, is going to fall on traditionally the more masculine side, where traditionally something like makeup and cooking and gardening is more feminine. If we have to, in a social, modern social vacuum, assign gender roles to things, they're men that garden, they're women that, women that work on trucks. This crossover happens. It may not be the norm as society views it, but it does happen. I want to ask this guy a valid question. Please provide your list of acceptable leisure activities that meet your approval. Yes. And this is what this dude said. Changing the oil in the car, uh -huh. upgrading the RAM in the family computer, what? doing the laundry, reading, writing, making chili or soup, home repair, playing soccer slash rugby slash football slash hockey. Most Wait. of these are just... Chores? Chores? Yeah. Oh boy, can't wait to change the oil in the- So let's let's look at how that's worded. You, please write a list of your acceptable leisure activities that meet with your approval. Literally a honeydew chore list. Oh my god. Do you change your own RAM, please? I actually pay someone to do it. Like I will go to the computer shop and I'll pay a premium just for them to do it. Because I'm lazy in some capacity. But that's why I pay someone to do it. I pay them very well to do it. But like... You like that men's leisure activities are hobbies are just chores? Ain't that ain't that messed up. Wow. Football slash hockey. Most of these are just 
chores. Oh boy, can't wait to change the oil in the car. Updating RAM on the family computer. Oh god, I remember having a family computer. Oh, I no. remember not knowing how to delete the history off the family computer. <laughs> definitely something that Kip didn't do. No, sir. I, uh, my parents would definitely not uh, say that that, that, that happened. It absolutely, it didn't happen. I was talking about. I absolutely knew how to delete my search history. I absolutely knew how to delete search results. 100%. Never made that mistake. Nothing more soy than grown men obsessed with a sports team. Men with a favorite sports what? team are highly unattractive to me. A man okay. is supposed to dominate his field, conquer resources, ravage his opponent, what? and bring glory to his name and family. What? And here he is watching and cheering on other men doing just that. A masculine cuckery. I mean, you can make the argument that things like NFL and AFL can be a cult, I guess, if you wanted to make that argument. What a weird worldview to have. Like, I feel if it's like, like blind date, right? Hey, what, what's what's a red flag to you? Men with their favorite sports team, are, the whole blurb, right? That's, I'm going to go and literally anywhere else now. Thank you. Thank you for proving that uh, this is not going to go. It's not going to work out. What a weird worldview to have. Just, I kind of pity this more than anything. Calling people men who watch dudes in tights chase a ball around a field covered in woke messaging what? while our country goes up in flames might be a stretch. How dare you have leisure time? How dare you watch other men do things? Gosh darn it, do your job because <laughs> country is going up in flames. What a weird... What a we these people exist. Like as a as a netizen of Twitter, these people exist. I've seen them. I've seen them comment on my stuff sometimes. People are wild. Like once again, how dare you have a hobby? How dare you have a leisure activity? Your leisure activity should be fixing stuff. No. Oh. These people need help. Your country is being invaded and destroyed and you're watching sports ball? Sad. <laughs> like, what do these guys do all day for fun? The only acceptable manly activity to some of these people is like making fun of 15 year olds on TikTok who are experimenting with their gender identity. <laughs> I feel like it's really- I don't know. I do make fun of that one kid that like, I guess he's like 15 or 16 and in just utter seriousness. He's got like Norse pagan like stuff in the background. And this dude just, he, he, he broadens up his shoulders. You can't see me do it. Cause model, right? He broadens his shoulders and he goes, bow down to me. I am your alpha. You will open <laughs> even this kid. Oh my God. He is, he is so misguided. And I'm just, I can't help but laugh at this kid. Like he, he in all of his being has taken every Andrew Tate, every, uber masculine just influencer and just kind of distilled it into him and it's just like it's it's so so funny i me and one of my mod team every time we talk about this we actually just laugh and he means it, it's not it's not like a parody he actually believes this and he's just like like i am your alpha bow to your <laughs> I can't have a straight face. I'm actually going to start just like, I'm actually going to roll over on the floor if I start doing this. He is an absolute just... He's something. <laughs> this kid is something else. Not that deep. Like, we've always been a very competitive species. Yeah. We used to watch people fight in, like, coliseums. We used to watch men get ripped apart by lions in coliseums. Now we watch Main. stickball, or we watched two nerds debate about politics on Twitch. That is our modern day coliseum. UK builders yeah. go woke. Study finds three quarters of tradesmen discuss their feelings with colleagues while two thirds shun their fried breakfasts and nearly half say they are history buffs. Okay, the history buffs absolutely based. So let's go through this sequentially, shall we? Goes woke. There's that weird buzzword everybody likes using that has since lost all definition. Kind of like cringe, right? Cringe has kind of lost all definition. Sus, sus is getting there too, actually. S-U-S, Amogus, sus is getting there. Discuss their feelings with their colleagues. I mean, that's so open-ended. That's like literally saying, hey, Greg, what are your thoughts on Destiny 2 Lightfall? Well, Johnny, it's a flaming dumpster fire, being completely honest, right? Some, I mean, that's, you know, I didn't like it. I don't... I, this is broad and open-ended on purpose. I get the intent is, oh, well, they're discussing their free wings and, oh, men can't have free wings. They have to be the rock. They have to be... Bah, 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 bah. Bro, come on now. Weird. weird. Don't don't be weird about it. Don't don't be weird. I see you. Don't be weird about it. <laughs> uh, this got the, the callings. Two-thirds shun their fried breakfasts. 
How is that going woke? What? Damn. Didn't want KFC this morning. I guess I'll go get some Del Taco. I guess you're woke for not... What? <laughs> such a that's the weird one for me here that's the one that makes me laugh uh nearly half say they're history buffs chat have you thought about the roman empire today how many times have you thought about the roman empire today what were you thinking about the roman empire today what 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 specifically about the roman empire were you thinking today i rest my case i rest my case what the fuck does going woke mean anymore? Exactly. Is it woke to have friends and like history? No airbags. We die like <laughs> real men. <laughs> went on a date with a man who got in our Uber and instantly put on a seat belt. The date went okay and he was sweet, but I ghosted him. I could not get the image of him wearing a seatbelt out of my mind. Feminine. If you're a grown ass man okay. and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are likely to be a raging homosexual. <laughs> There's a dude on TikTok. I love his videos. I can't remember his name offhand, but his whole thing is he does a series of short videos that is just like uh um it's be a man videos, but it's done in a very in a very like yeah wink kind of way. So like uh, what is it? Um having your family over for the hall for holiday dinner. Uh, don't say anything. Be depressed. Be a man. <laughs> need, need help on the roof? Bring. Uh, what was it? It's like, uh, uh, need help on the roof? Uh, don't ask for help. Climb up yourself. Fall and break your back. Be a man. <laughs> this is kind of invocative of that, but just less funny. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to not want to die in a car accident? Apparently. Speaking of seatbelts, I actually found out recently that when seatbelts were first invented, there was like this whole anti-seatbelt movement of Doesn't people that were me. just like, I will not wear my seatbelt. The government can't force me to wear a seatbelt. And when I pointed this out online, like 50 of my own fans were like, shoo, this would have been you. And like... Yeah. Fair enough. The sudden trend of men being attracted to female asses is part of the homosexual agenda. Guys, it, we, we've done it. We have come full circle. Men, we've done it. <laughs> Being a hetero is now homo. We've done it. <laughs> we, we've reached enlightenment. We've reached apotheosis. I'm out, bro. <laughs> I'm already a sentence in and I can't. This is this is great. Oh, this is. I don't even know. Like we we've reached just some level of just we we've lost the plot here. We've <laughs> We lost the plot. <laughs> God. Men and women have asses if they can get you attracted to asses with stopping you from being attracted to a man's ass. If a man- I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Like, I, that that's just bait. That's internet bait. Prefers tits over ass, I just assume he is gay or at least <laughs> bisexual. Real men prefer ass over tits. Once a man has reached puberty, he should find the breasts of a woman repulsive. They are meant to feed babies. You are no longer a baby. Grow up. This this reeks of self-projection. The, 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 them projecting themselves in that tweet. Just absolutely rancid with that. Oh my god. Can't like a woman's ass. Can't like a woman's tits. Yeah. You're gay no matter what. All roads lead to gay. Rest it, exactly. It, it's kind of like all roads lead to crab in the ocean. How everything evolves into crab. And then things evolve from crab but back into crab. Yeah, it, it's... Men. Liking women is gay. <laughs> like, I have to think. Like, these people, though, like, they're cognizant of what they're saying, right? And I think... And I, and then I know they don't know what they're saying. And I'm just like, yeah, this <laughs> I like individual people. As a whole, people like that, I don't like dealing with. I just avoid them. <laughs> Where did the crab come from? Ah, yes, the chicken or the egg. The crab or the finch. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Why is it always fish? I don't understand. This is this is becoming concerning at this point. Restaurants, soy. Bars, Bars okay. soy. soy. Everything people do to have fun is based around soy. Nature, okay. Chad. Buying big ass steaks and eating them raw in the <laughs> park? No. Chad. No. I would call the cops on you if I saw that. Yes, hello. That's potentially unhinged behavior. There is a strange man eating raw meat in the park around my children. Men don't wear dresses or drink from straws. I mean, I don't drink from straws.
I don't know. It's kind of a holdover, like the Save the Turtles kind of thing. I just don't like straws. I'll just drink from the glass, drink from the cup. I don't care. It's whatever. Watching YouTube videos is a female trait. Uh, Men who watch YouTube might as well be women. You heard it here. You heard it here, chat. There we go. That is it. Kip is now Kip at. Kip is now female Kip. I expect all artwork of a spicy variety to be sent to me via my business email now. Because there I am now in the female territory, clearly. <laughs> oh my god. Woo. Oh, this is this is great. This is this is this is comedy in its purest form. Well, put on the dress. Men should dress Fair. like men and women should dress like women. Okay. Culture is clearly trying to blur these lines and Christians should exemplify the distinctions. Ladies, right. wear dresses often, keep your hair long and stay healthy. Men, ditch the gay look, grow a beard <laughs> and get strong. Uh yeah, there are certain videos we'll all go into con like deeper context about some of these things. This is not one of them. This is just bait. This is just bait and projection. Men, grow a beard, don't look gay. What about what if you are incapable of growing a beard? Or what if you're not at the age that you can properly grow? I can't grow a beard. I can't. 20. How old am I? 95. 29. 29. <laughs> I don't. That's not a joke. I actually forget half the time. Re really. I do. So that I, I can't grow a full beard. I get that weird like stubble thing. And it's just like, I'll just shave it. It's weird. I don't like it. it makes me feel gross. Right. I can't grow a full beard. I guess if I can't grow a beard. If I'm gay. <laughs> Not how that works even remotely. Yes, nothing gay men hate more than strong men with beards. Men who grow beards are insecure and want to feel more masculine because inside they don't feel masculine. Men need- Man, it's almost like these are stupid double standards that people can tell you one thing on the internet or people can tell you one thing, but- at the same time, people say that, no, you shouldn't do that, that you're wrong for doing that. And, you know, growing a, <laughs> growing a beard makes you appear less feminine, but growing a beard makes you appear more feminine. And it's just like, okay, all of you just get bent deuces, double flip off, right? Like, get bent, I'm going to go somewhere else. To come to grips with the fact that we've all committed sexual- No, nope, no, nope, I'm not, nope, mm -mm. No, mm -mm. I got I got half a sentence in. No, that's not how that works. Assault no, on no, women. no, 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 no. Uh, then no. in the comment section, uh, c comment if you've you've never committed a sexual assault on a woman. Uh, n never, n never, absolutely not. Nor do I have any plans to. Nor will I ever. That is not how that works. And well, I'm gonna get that one comment. I'm gonna get that one comment that's gonna be like, "Well, can't, can't." What about CNC, consensual non-consent? <sighs> You, you you exist in the back of my brain to torment me every video, don't you? I know you do. I, I see you there. I see you. That's not how that works. That's not even remotely how that works. It's also in the name consensual non-consent. Literally in the name. You talk about this beforehand. There are safe words. There are things that you do in advance before even remotely engaging in that. There are conversations you have with that. There are reasons that you have a dungeon. There are reasons that you have things that separate Fantasy from reality. That, uh, literally just bad electrician butt. Oh my god. It's great. Like this video if you've never committed sexual assault on a woman. Subscribe to this channel if you've never committed sexual assault on a wow. woman. No grown man should be drinking margaritas. Damn. Men drinking cocktails, it's not big and it's not clever. It makes ye look like an absolute tit. And birds <laughs> drinking pints <laughs> makes ye look like a lorry driver. <laughs> This is the most aggressively British thing I've seen yet. Oh my god. This is the most British shit I've ever heard in my yeah. life. I need a translator. <laughs> Something that gives me the ick is men drinking hot drinks. Oh, Some men ick. shouldn't be getting nothing from the ice cream truck. I still get excited when I hear the ice cream truck. Also, I just need to know, what are y'all choosing? Uh, I would still go with the Spongebob bar. Spongebob bar is good. The pole pop. It, god, it's been years since I've had a pole pop. I could go... Why is there a bowl of cold? Actually, Pokemon Diamond takes it. Look, I was going to go SpongeBob Pop, Pole Pop. I haven't had those in years. I need to see if I can find some of those. Those are that childhood core memory right there. The Pokemon Diamond, though, that has ROI. That's got return on investment. 
I'm going with the SpongeBob one every time. If you are a male and go to any restaurant and ask for a milkshake, you are gay. Real men do not drink coffee, especially not iced coffee or flavored coffee. That is sus. That is if sus. I see a gentleman drinking tea, I assume he is a homosexual. To be honest, I've said it before, tea is gay coffee. Men- <laughs> What? Okay, I guess we're just assigning gender to hot leaf juice now. Those that got the reference, you're welcome. I, I guess, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess, I don't even want to entertain this as an idea. That's like saying, oh, yeah, Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender is definitely gay. Be I don't, I don't. Bro, come on now. This is, this is actually hurting my brain. T's actually metal AF. There, there are some T's out there that are wild. They will kick you in the rear to get you going. Oh, my God who drink juice suspect as hell. I go to Starbucks solely to see the embarrassment on the eyes of the grown man who orders a low-fat iced latte frap frou-frou blah blah when he looks up and sees me taking a sip of my straight black coffee with no cream or sugar. Wow, you couldn't even get the order correctly. Didn't I know this was supposed to be the, fr the latte frap frou-frou blah blah. If you're going to insult the man, at least get his order correct. It just makes you look like a loon. And then everyone on the train clapped, looks up at you and sees you. <laughs> this is the start of some like yaoi fan fiction or something. Nice. Beta males go to hipster coffee shops for a dirty chai soy latte, while alpha males go to Hooters and drink beer and watch hockey. If you in your Twitter bio, if you in your Twitter bio, I, I have to repeat because I had to repeat this in my head because the absurdity of it. Put alpha male in parentheses in your username. Seek professional help. A anything you say, I'm just going to laugh at you. I don't know who this Nick Adams is. I don't know who they are. I don't know what their platform is. I don't know if they're popular. I don't know if they're a CEO, executive. I don't know who they are. Anything they say, I'm just going to laugh at. Like, this is... my my. I I'm cringing so hard. My 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 like mouth has like puckered. It, it it's just my face is just a, a face with no features, but just a giant just like chocolate starfish on it. I I've sucked my face into the point where it's imploded on itself. Jesus Christ, man! Beta male left can attack me all they want. I will never apologize for being an alpha male who eats at Hooters. Going to Hooters is a gender affirming experience. <laughs> Dude is actually trying to defend himself. He 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 is trying so hard to defend his like his statement. He is projecting so hard. This is super insecure and I love it. <laughs> Do men eat raspberries? Yeah. Men? Yeah. Do you eat raspberries? A no man I don't like when you say it that way, but yeah, we do eat uh, raspberries. I will call them raspberries, much like Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where they're called R A Z Z. I've never met somebody that says raspberry personally, but yeah, we do eat them. It's like women do you eat blueberries? I mean, it's subjective to the individual, but some of us do. Well, there's your answer. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> A no man, a no real man about to sit around and eat a feminine ass food like hummus. Okay, first off, hop off my boy hummus. That stuff goes hard, okay? That goes really hard sometimes. Sometimes you ain't got, you know, enough for, uh, enough for lunch. You see some hummus and some chips. God, sometimes it just hits the spot. I love how so much of this just like has to do with food and drinks. Just made up arbitrary rules about what is and what is not masculine food. Someone in my chat just said Rizberries, and I want everyone to know watching this, if you say Rizberries, you're immediately going to baby jail. Do not pass go. Do not pass Candyland. You're going straight to baby jail. With the childproof lock. <laughs> Like, are boneless chicken wings masculine food? Better question, are boneless chicken wings chicken nuggets? Yes. Leftist men are not real men. <laughs> Leftist males are a bunch of beta losers. The reason why I say males is because I would not consider a leftist male a man. Leftist males are not real men. Simple. <laughs> I don't know, like, Joseph Stalin was pretty manly. I like how in order to find one example of, like, a masculine leftist man, I have to, like, take out a history book and... <sighs> 
Uh, uh. This shit is so dumb though. Like this idea that all conservative men are like hyper masculine and like no leftist men are masculine. Like it doesn't hold up. Obviously there are masculine leftist men, liberal men. However, men are capital. I, I have no no hat in this race. I really don't. I try to avoid politics wherever possible. And I don't like playing for just politics sports teams. I am my own independent individual. I have my own views. I agree and disagree with a great many things. And I don't like engaging. I, I don't like it. I don't like engaging politics. It's just not my thing. As it turns out, you can just say F everybody else. Do your own thing and just be super legit. You don't have to subscribe to any team. I don't know. I don't have a hat in this race is all I'm trying to say. So in a minute. So about that false equivalency we were talking about earlier. Feminine men are socialists. The two genders. In reality, conservative men are the most effeminate men what? when you really think about it. I mean, authoritarianism in general is kind of subby. Oh, you want the state to control you? You want to lick the boot? Bottom. <laughs> Why did I think, why did I immediately think back to like 1940s, 50s Soviet Russia? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you want the state to tell you who's a good little boy, don't you? Are you, are you the state's good little pog? <laughs> oh, history. Oh, history's boring. You can't pull memes from history. Literally history. <laughs> are you a good subby wubby ooh woo widow boy for the state? Oh, I have immediately made several people cringe with that. You're welcome. Behavior. Leftism lowers your testosterone. Racism what? increases your testosterone. What? <laughs> the two political parties, leftism and racism. Any man whose heart is melted by a woman is no man at all. Uh -huh. Fellas, is it gay to fall in love? Eating? Is it gay to, to, to be reciprocative and to feel something from female attention? Is it gay? Gay guys? girls out is submissive no! you are what you eat no! if you as a man eat pussy you are one licking coochie is worse than cocaine addiction oh my god fellas is it worse to engage is it, wor is it, gay, is it gay to engage in intercourse with the woman <laughs> bro ain't no way this is real this has got to be bait Oh my god. Eating pussy is so childish. Eating pussy is too submissive for me. It feels gay. Uh -huh. Literally, fellas, is it gay to eat pussy? Yes. Real men eat ass. A real man does not eat ass. Getting mixed messages here. Yeah. Face sitting cowgirl in any other position with a woman on top are fundamentally acts of <laughs> homosexuality. <laughs> fellas, is it homosexual to have heterosexual sex? A yeah, yes, it is, apparently. I mean, we, the inner. The, the, the internet has decided apparently that is now gay. <laughs> the internet has decided being heterosexual is now homosexual. You're welcome. Are there, are there any questions, complaints, comments? I thought that was pretty clear. <laughs> this has muscle tissue. The more you use it, the stronger and bigger it becomes. The vagina is elastic. If you overuse it, it will lose its elasticity and become a borehole. What are you even trying to say with this? Are you just trying to justify men sleeping around? Is that is that? This is okay. This is weird. This is this is just weird. A this is muscle tissue. The more you use it, the stronger and bigger it becomes. Getting big gains at the gym. Don't skip day, bro. So this isn't even true. This is the truth, ladies. If he's had more than three sexual partners. He got a string bean. A man <laughs> having the TikTok <laughs> app is one thing, but making TikToks? What the actual hell is that? Yeah, no, you know, fellas, is it gay to be attracted to women? I mean, <laughs> you, you can potentially literally like someone that does like the D. Oh my God, this is getting too much. Making TikToks. It's hell gay, man. Come on now. It's, it's, I don't know. It's kind of gay. God. It's almost like this word is losing all meaning. You know what? I actually agree with this one. What? TikTok. And I'm not just saying that because I do not understand TikTok and I don't know how to navigate it or use it. Or Men with long hair. S same, honestly. I don't understand playlists. I use it. I don't understand the full features of it. I'm a boomer. Look, look, okay. If you're going to make fun of me, here, here, we'll make a compromise. If you can make fun of me for not knowing how TikTok playlists work, I get to make fun of you when you don't know how a rotary phone works. 
or you call a uh, um, uh, the the house internet cord. Uh, you call that a USB port. That you mean the Ethernet port? You get to make fun of me. I get to make fun of you. <laughs> oh, that doesn't feel good, does it? Okay, let's agree to disagree and move on. <laughs> There are not men. If I bend you over and you look like a woman from behind, you what? are not a man or you are gay. Wait a minute. If you bend a man over, they are gay? Yeah. If you are depressed as a man, you have failed as a man. This is why so many depressed men are choosing to become women. Think about why you no. never see emo no. boys anymore. Because they're all trans women. <laughs> I feel that the emo boys just, just got their wish. They just They're just doing their own thing now. Like, why would they deal with people? I, this is a false equivalence, and this is one of those things, if, like, say, a buddy of mine or someone popped up to me and said this, okay, show me all of your sources, show me all your peer-reviewed studies, give me all of the evidence, and then we can have a conversation. Because this correlation does not equal causation. Trans agenda has stolen our emo boys. If you are a man over 30 and you have time to maintain more than five friendships, I mean real friendships, you are either a loser, groomer, or gay. Wow, dude. All of the buzzwords. Whoa. Fellas. Is it gay to have friends? Apparently. Smiling too much is beta, and women know that men who smile frequently signal to other men that they are not a threat. Better smile less or smirk without showing teeth, as this is more alpha. I'm going to be honest. I wonder what the, the scientist that had... So the scientist, right, who did Wolves in Captivity, where the alpha, beta, that, that comes from, right? His research, as far as I'm aware, has been discredited because it is wolves in a domesticated environment. It is in a closed vacuum environment, and that was them responding to that environment. His, since this does not have bearing on actual... It pisses me off, and I wonder if like they regret their work in some capacity, or if they're like, look, this was made for a very specific situation, or this was observed in a very specific situation... This is not how this works, has since been redacted, and is still getting just... I wonder. I want to know. I, w I would love to know what their stance on this is for culture and mass appropriating this. This is rough. Smirk without showing teeth. What do like the DreamWorks smirk? If you are yeah. above the age of 27 and not making six figures a year, you should be forced to transition into a woman because it is over for you. And you're not making. Hold up. Hold up. But to be fair, this is me saying. Someone asked what color is the dress? It's gold and white. Lay off me. <laughs> If you're above the age of 27, not making six figures a year, you should be forced. I'm not making six figures a year. You don't you don't want female Kip. I'm telling you, you don't want it. <laughs> I'm already sassy enough as is. You don't want this. No, this is problematic. This is a very problematic stance to have. And I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna entertain it. I'm not even gonna entertain this as this is internet bait. This is Reddit internet bait. The forced feminization of working class men. Joe Biden's America. Large pieces are seen as desirable is just another symptom of Western <laughs> degeneration. Okay. Large pieces are a sign of low intelligence and savage genetics. Small pieces indicate high intelligence and aristocratic blood. Uh huh. Whatever makes you feel better, bro. <laughs> Whoa. There's that self projecting. Whoa equals masculine. Wow equals feminine. So what is wowzer, right? What about wowzers or wowie? Like, is that like trans and non-binary? Like, like I, I, I need the dichotomy here. Someone, someone needs to get out the Punnett Square. God damn it! I need answers. <laughs> equals masculine. Wow. Equals feminine. Racist white dudes be like, here's my top 25 films. These are like very normal, good movies. <laughs> These are very like popular, critically acclaimed movies. The Matrix? Racist white dudes liking Inglorious Bastards? The movie where they kill Nazis? Yeah. That one? Also, women wow. have no fing room to talk. Don't go around calling Pulp Fiction and Fight Club red flag movies when your ass is binge watching serial killer documentaries. Men, it Yes, actually. You have no room. To, no one. No one has any room to, so, in that situation, right? You're gonna call me watching something like Rocky Horror Picture Show problematic or a red flag. I see you. I see you with that search history of Ed Gein. No, stop it. Stop it. Don't. Do not. <laughs> His source, literally, someone who has researched and did a college paper on Ed Gein. Stop it. You don't want to go there.
You think you want to go there. You think you think that this man is salvageable. You think that he could he, he was, you know, in, in any way redeemable. There are certain things you do you just can't take back. There, there are certain things you do that just, mm -mm, no, we're good. Mm -mm, no, get closed. We're good. It is effeminate and weak to ask a woman on a date. A real man does not ask. He takes what is rightfully his. Where, where, do I have a whistle soundboard? I don't have a whistle soundboard. That's where you uh, whistle, whistle, whistle.mp3, and we move on. Uh, That's not no, how that works. Don't, no, no, don't do no. that. No. no, that's a Ancient flag. men sent to war on behalf of the empire at age 15. Leaned, jacked, what? Sunned balls. What? Modern men beg for women's appreciation. Pale, depressed, fat. Ask for permission before <laughs> a real man just pisses everywhere while making eye contact. Jacked by. Well, I mean, you did say that this was masculine behavior. I, I guess, right? <laughs> God. A calm mind. Sunned balls. What? Where is this coming strong from? Strong family, confident mindset, sharp and- I feel like if you find this attractive, you are pretty much gay, but don't want the stigma that goes along with- Okay, to be fair, muscle mommies, though. You say muscle mommies ain't valid, get bent, okay? Something about- Something about a lady? Able to just fold me up like a pretzel? Literally dunk me by jumping three feet in the air? Three- You just- just mm -mm. It does it for me. Like, solid W. Like, rocket. The, the muscle waifu psyop is real. They got you thirsting for women with male bodies. They want to turn you gay. What? Liking muscle mommies or strong women is gay. Fellas, is it gay to, like, hot women? If you Apparently. I mean, the internet's never wrong, right? Anything you see on the internet is- it's true, right? They, they can't post anything on the internet that isn't true. If you like pick A over pick B, you are, in fact, Socially engineered or slightly homosexual. What? You know, you know, fellas, guys, men, dudes, my homies, liking Asians gay. Where is this even coming from? Like, I, I, I understand what the OP is trying to do here. I understand what they're trying to... I gotcha. Bro. Bro. Come on now. What does... This is so, so cringe. Okay, hot take, but both? Both are good. Both Hi, are good. progressive leftists. Hi. If your idea of a man is sitting around in your skinny jeans, sipping on a grande peppermint mocha made with soy topped off with whip, then you do you. I'm going to do me. Which My dude, I'm pretty sure this is a run-on sentence, and I'm pretty sure your punctuation is off. Yes. I never, I never actually understand. Why are people in office allowed, and like executives, why are they allowed to have this? Why are they allowed to have po personal accounts like this? If you are a public servant, why do you get to have an account like this and make really stupid statements. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's weird to me. It's just so weird. That's like, fuck. It's, what's a good example? That's like Bobby Kotick having a Twitter account and just like posting about Bobby Kotick things that he's working. It, it, it just comes across as weird to me, right? I, I never sat right with this, regardless of who it is. Oh, Kip, I bet you're fine if it's a... The, no, no. Why does anyone in a seat of politics have this? This is so weird to me. This is so, like, dystopian, in my opinion. It's so strange to me. <laughs> She's a God-fearing American who loves his country and flag. <laughs> that was the incorrect spot to put that emoji, by the way. Get bent. She's a God-fearing American who loves his country and flag. <laughs> Okay. Why is it always coffee? Why is it always Starbucks latte? I haven't brushed because it's a buzzword. That's all it is. Like that. That. That's just all buzz. This wouldn't surprise me if who is this person? I totally forgot what his name is. This, that shows how little I care about this person. Like probably their campaign manager or someone. They they set them to do this, and it's like, oh, this this aligns with my client's values or my boss's values. I guess I'll just post this. Just what a. It, it's so cringe to me. It's so weird. It's like. Like, imagine, right? Like, whoever the acting president of the United States would be at a time period, right? They just Facebook liked your post, or they liked your tweet, or, like, commented on your YouTube video. It's just so weird. I don't know how else to express it. My teeth in over a week. I rarely brush my teeth. 
feels gay. What? Ladies, if you want to find out if your man is gay, check the back of his toilet seat. If that shit ain't dirty, he is bisexual at least. <laughs> if you wipe your ass with baby wipes and you're not a girl, you are borderline bisexual. Please, for the love of God, clean your ass. It is not manly to have a <laughs> shitty, poopy asshole. Wash your ass. Red flags list just dropped. Let's discuss. Wash them holes, chat. <laughs> But does that not do that for you? <laughs> Sagittarius or Aquarius. Astrology is just racism for white women. <laughs> Thinks Kanye is a genius. Well, that one aged well. Loves Bitcoin slash crypto. Okay, I actually agree with this. I had a nightmare like two years ago that I met this boy and he was really nice. And then he started showing me like his little NFT monkeys on his phone. Yeah. I literally had a nightmare. <laughs> it's from New Jersey. Okay. I agree with that too. New Jersey is New York's dump. Has abs. Not a big fan of abs, but I don't see how that's a red flag. Only has one pillow. I mean, it's not a big deal if he has one pillow. It is a big deal if he has a yellow pillow. Ooh. What was the one meme that someone posted on Twitter? Like they made their Dakimakura, their, their, their hug pillow. Like they made it able to stand up on its own. Ooh. <laughs> Ladies, what gives you the ick oh, when no. he's born in June? A man born anywhere from February 19th to March 20th does not sit right with me. Yes! Yes! March 11th, baby! I do... Yes! I have immediately acquired her ire. Yes! See, rather than take it as a negative, take it as a positive and be like... It just be like, yeah, I can't believe it. I'm not your type. Let's go! And they're just, they're just so confused at that point. They're like... Uh, they, they they won't be able to compute it. They 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 say it and 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 the negative, but you're not the negative. It, it it's very confusing. You see, talk about subverting expectations. Why, as a man, are you born in June? There's something about men being born between March and August that makes me sick, man. Yes! There's something very unmasculine about men who aren't born in October through December. When a man tells me his birthday is in July, I look at him sideways like, "Are you a girl?" Fellas, is it gay to be born? It really is. Apparently, honestly. Is racism for women. <laughs> a man has no time for happiness. Happiness is for women and children. I feel like according to these people, like the rules of being a man are just like, be miserable, drink and eat only red meat and tar, yeah. go to work, do nothing fun ever, yeah. never wash your ass, yeah. and die in a car accident. Yeah. The most masculine thing to me is honestly just like not giving a fuck. Just not giving a fuck about what other people think. Just doing and eating whatever you want. To there we go. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. Right there. Right there. It's almost like being a man is incredibly subjective and different to each of us. There are people, men, in this comment section, in this chat, watching this video, that love to go fishing. There are people that hate fishing. There are people that love to go hunting. People that hate hunting love to go work on their cars. People that hate cars love to go you know, uh, build models, hate building models. They love to... Any number of things, right? You do you, homeboy. You are your own independent person. You're your own free agent. Right, free will. Do your thing. Is that harming anybody? Is it illegal? No, cool. Go for it. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Like, it's not a hard concept. Oh my god. Just be yourself. Be an individual. Don't and don't listen to these people that are like, I am your alpha. Bow down to me. <laughs> dude. Like that actually part of the cringe compilation for me. Me personally, it would just be a huge turnoff if a guy was like, oh no, I'm not drinking that margarita. That's a girly drink. Like, are you 12 years old? And they just have like a child's idea of what it is to be like a grown up and be a man. It also just reeks of insecurity. Like, why are you that afraid of looking gay? I don't get it. So that was my little fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider donating to my Patreon to help out the channel. Link down below. Oh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And I will see you guys with a new video soon. What a wild ride. What what a wild ride this was. My head hurts. Like retain your semen to become <laughs> superhuman. <laughs> that that's troll post. I love it. I don't know, my head hurts after that actually. That there's just so much just crap shoveled at me so quick. That was rough. <laughs> People on the internet are scary. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, if you want to check out more of this kind of content, 
you should definitely go and check out uh, uh, check out Shion Head. Excellent creator. Puts up a lot of content. A little more political uh, than I would like. That being said, they're allowed to be their own person. They're allowed to put out the content that they want to put out. I am merely reacting to said content. And uh, I hear that they do have a second channel as well. If politics is your thing, might I go recommend that you go check out the uh, second channel for uh, for her. But that is, you know, kind of my thing. I try to be try to be in the middle, try to be apolitical. There's certain things I just absolutely laugh at, though. Like, to be fair, there's some things that I just have a good hoot and a holler at. My God, there is just there was some stuff in this one. This was wild. But uh yeah, I don't know why sunny balls is a thing that just people are really fixated on. It's so strange to me. But uh if there's anything as a man that I can impart, just define your own defin just define your own definition. Define yourself. Who are you gonna be? You identifying as a man, being a man, being born as a man, whatever get to make your own path you get to be your own independent person your own free person choose to do what you want whether that's going to the range whether that's going hunting whether that's uh be you know uh starting your own business whether that's going into finance right whether that's sewing and making really cool like costumes and cloaks and stuff right define yourself as an individual don't necessarily look to social media and big influencers on how to be a man and you know, this is what you must do because clearly showcased in this video, there are many, many people that have warring opinions and contradictory and paradoxical opinions on what being a man means. What's important is you define your own meaning and look at others, look at their successes, and most importantly, their failures and craft your own identity. But that's wise Kip today. Thank you for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you did watch, it's been an absolute wild one, I assure you. And, uh, you know, Hopefully, I come across as someone that is trying to, you know, not really dive into the whole politics thing. That I'm, you know, kind of just here, kind of just taking it in. This isn't necessarily a political issue. This is people issue, mental health issue as well. But uh, yeah, very curious if you think I was on point or not. Thanks for watching.